we had a bit of an off um, joint testing in, in the qualifier suit and then you got your, your new kangaroo suit and we, we did a little bit of a repair for you this week um, and a fantastic result of Brands Hatch finishing third and all looked really really good for the second race and you know we, we won't say too much about that but you know don't jump start this weekend please um, so yeah some, some, some good viewing there um, Joe Francis um, what do you know, Joe? I tell you, you make me smile every time I see you. Um, we, we got involved last year with you, um, with with Ross. Um, you you had a a bit of a mixed season last year um, when you, you got injured and you, you made a remarkable recovery when after that, you know. And when Joe came in to see us uh, for, for a measuring, I was absolutely in awe of how well he recovered and um, his total physique, he, he absolutely blew us away. So, really good. This year, um, he's riding the factory MV, he's had some ups and downs riding the MV, um, but latterly he, he's also um, been invited to, to ride in the Asian, Asian Cup and also do the Suzuki 4 out. So, you know, really, really good. He's been wearing BKS. Genus supported. Um, so good. So Alton Park, Jamie, um, is it a good circuit for you? Uh, do you feel confident there? I mean, I know under no pressure with the, the other guys here around us. Yeah, I'll ask you the same question as well, Joe. But yeah, Alton Park, here we go. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've always gone quite well at Alton Park before then. Um, I struggled at the test here last week, but I don't know if you I don't think I was the only one that struggled with traffic in the last week and did go up and down it. But now I've always gone well there. It's a really bumpy track, but I think it should be a good weekend as long as the weather stays out, it's cool past too. Super. Incidentally, Jamie, uh, I mean, unlike uh, Joe and the, the EHA guys, Jamie, Jamie's a privateer, you know, and he's funding his racing on his own. So he's a bit of a struggle, but for him to get up to third place and finish the race in third, and then make a, a, a massive mark at Brands Hatch uh, in, in the second race, you know, it's, it's quite commendable. So, yeah, hands, hands down. Oh. Hey. Hey. Joe, um, Alton Park, uh, home circuit, yeah, feeling strong, feeling good. I know you, you like to just go out there and kick ass and put one fast lap in and put me on pole, so let's have it. Alton Park, no pressure. Yeah, so we should be all right. It's a, it's a track I like. Obviously, it's a local track. It should be a bit different to the first two rounds. There's been a lot of results and mix with uh, some of them tracks do throw up funny results, and as well with the uh, the weather being a bit different. So I see this more as a proper track, and we're, with if it's proper, the weather's good, and that you should see it a lot more uh, back, a lot more things back to normal. So. We should be good, uh, the bike should work well, I haven't rode it round here yet, but I'm confident we'll be alright and uh, just, just crack on with the job. Superb Joe, always good viewing anyway, you know. Um, with with regard to you, your um, Australian Asia, Asia thing, I mean that must be quite an exciting prospect for you to, to take on and a great opportunity. Yeah, it's all, it's all an experience, uh, you obviously it's a different way of riding out there. It's, they are kamikaze and they're all fight like you wouldn't believe. But it is the level of that championship's good, and the support from the factories is quite nice. And to be honest with you, everything about that championship is I, I want to go back, and I've been lucky enough to get the chance. If obviously get through this weekend, then we're in the break. We go to Suzuka, so it should be good, and it's nice to ride with uh, different people and experience new cultures. The good news for you is, Joe, we've got the go-ahead to get you soon. Okay, so... <laughs> different colour soon. Um, Jamie, um, what inspired you to start riding motorcycles, you know? I mean, is it, is it something that's always been in your blood, or were you sort of driven there, or where, where, where are you at with that? Uh, well, it came from my mum, really. I know usually it's the dad, but my mum grew up always racing and going to TT and stuff. Uh, and then both of my cousins raced, so when I was like a baby, I was 
change into mechanic. All the, all the companies they did. And then uh, Mayor on Saturday night of racing. And then we were at a mini night of presentation. And I went on eBay around my mum that night and bought a 400 for, for racing myself. And then from there I got picked up by a BSB team to move into Stock 1000 when I was 17. So I went straight from 400 and I got Stock 1000 to BSB. So then I was in BSB that point. Joe, why did you start? I know you did the motocross and off road for, for, um, for training. What, what actually you initially inspired you to start riding your bikes? Just watching it on TV, and then obviously you were, I didn't really like it that much for a while. And then I, could, I watched it one day and I just thought, you know what, I want to give it a go. So I said, can we get a bike? And lucky enough, I got one. And then from there, started off, I wasn't very good and just kept on working away. And then Obviously, you just build yourself your way. Well, you build your way up through championships, mini motos, so on, and then that was it. Just managed to keep on going, practicing all the time, and just got there in the end. And then, obviously, we're here now, and we just got to keep on moving forward. Okay, listen, we wish you the best of luck this weekend, both of you. And uh, here's a favour, Joe. Stay on the bike. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so good luck this weekend, and uh, thank you very much for coming to see us today. Okay, thanks a lot. Cheers. Would you?